Hola amigos, welcome to my channel. I'm Miguel de Avila or M. Davila. And today I want to talk to you about the best James Bond. It's, in my opinion, the best James Bond ever. Seth Roger Moore. Okay was an English actor. He's been known for portraying fictional secret agent James Bond in the Eon production film series, playing the character in seven feature films between 1973 and 1985. He was born October 14, 1927 in Stockwell, London, United Kingdom. And he died May 23rd, 2017, in Crans, Montana, Switzerland. Moore went into television in the 1950s on the series such as Ivanhoe in 1958 and the Alaska 1959 but probably received the most recognition from the Maverick in 1957 as Cason View. He received his big breakthrough at least internationally as the same in 1962. The series made him a superstar and he became very successful thereafter. Moore ended his run as the same and was one of the premier stars of the world. But he was not catching on in America. In an attempt to change this, he agreed to star with Tony Curtis on ITC's the Persuaders in 1971. But although hugely popular in Europe, it did not catch on in the United States and was cancelled just prior to making the series. He starred in The Man Who Haunted Himself in 1970, which proved there was far more to more than the light-hearted role he had previously accepted. He was neck offered and accepted the role of James Bond. And once audience got used to the change of style from Connery's portrayal, they also accepted him. Live and Let Die, 1973, his first Bond movie, grossed more outside of America than The Diamonds Are Forever, 1971, Connery's last outing at James Bond. Seth Roger Moore, who has died at age 89, considered himself to be only the fourth best actor to have played Ian Fleming's Secret Service agent, James Bond, on screen. He also appears in one movie with Jean-Claude Van Damme. I know that I saw that movie. I think it's The Quest, the name. And when the Spy Girls were on top of the fame, they called Roger Moore to appear in one of his videos because they love Roger Moore. I mean, who doesn't love Roger Moore? He was 
handsome, funny, smart. He was a flirt. He was one of the best. I watched all his movies. All, all, because I like the way he stared with the eyes. Uh, it's unique, it's unique. Okay, amigos, that's all for now. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, to share and like. Gracias.